Hello, Pirates. Um, after the preview yesterday, uh, I finally settled down on a Buccaneer build for the next raid, upcoming next week on January 11th, uh, Thursday. So let's take a look at it. The first question a lot of people are asking is, why are you using countermeasures? Well, there are two turrets. One of them, as you can see in the blue arrow, shoots like a bunch of rockets or at least they behave like rockets, but they do radioactive damage. When they hit the water, they leave a whole bunch of small fire fields. And if you stay on those fields, or if they hit on your ships, you're going to take radioactive damage. It's possible to counter them with uh, either tridents or sprints. You don't need many, because they are slow reloading, but it's important to have at least a couple in the fleet. The second turret fires a single projectile that looks like a missile but actually creates a bigger single fire field on the water when it lands and that's 100% radioactive damage as far as I could investigate. Uh, that one can be countered by either the flanks, the sprint or the trident. Um, but the flanks is the one where we can get the highest possible accuracy. So. I recommend you put one, should be enough, because the, it's only one or two of these turrets at a time, so one flanks on the whole fleet should be enough. I'm putting a second just in case the elite target has a whole bunch more of those, okay? Uh, then the trick is, because the flanks has higher accuracy than the sprint, you want to make sure the flanks have longer range, so you don't put the sprints and the flanks on the same ship, you put the flanks on a ship with a countermeasure special, I'll show you that later. And you put the sprints on any other ship. Okay? So they have shorter range and, and they won't fire at the missile, but they will fire at the rocket. So that's the first thing. The base build, from my base build that I had posted in the previous video, uh, I'm keeping all of these elements. Uh, six cannons at least. One charged armor for ballistic damage. Siege Battery 4, if you don't have it, use Siege Battery 3. Speed System 6, if you don't have it, use Speed System 5. CL3. Now, CL3 was the best resistance special, especially because the damage was very skewed towards radioactive. Less ballistic, more radioactive. Um, so that special offers the best mix. Uh, layered Armor 3 would give you more ballistic resistance, but no radioactive at all, then you would have to use a second slot to put a reflective coating. And uh, trust me, you don't have a slot to spare on this build with that. So go CL3. Uh, a few things I tested that didn't help much. Uh, having faster reload didn't make much of a difference. Agility system or guidance scrambler, anything or reflective coating, anything increasing evade didn't help, didn't change the damage at all because pretty much everything was doing area of effect or splash damage and neither of them can be countered by higher evade on your ship. Having one CIC charged armor was very good, made, made a huge difference but then the moment I added a second one it didn't bring down repairs at all. So having more ballistic resistance or more ballistic charged armor uh, pull didn't help. So only one is enough. On the other three armor slots, actually, if you can for now put D2R, it's relatively fast to build and you will need more radioactive uh, resistance as much as you can have, okay? The other thing is extra splash didn't help the regular shots from the cannon were not seeing any benefit from extra splash. And the big blue one, that one was doing a lot of area damage and taking down a lot of turrets clustered together. But that one doesn't benefit from extra splash. So no need for that. So people going for cannon system 4 combined with the mass augmentation axis because it gave more splash uh, really wasn't the way to go. Instead, what I observed was that nuclear accelerator was 
better than Canon System 4 because with all of those uh, fire fields on the water, you need the speed to either outrun them in the first place or get out of them as fast as you can. Um, extra splash didn't help. Uh, like I said, the damage is skewed towards radioactive, so CL3 special, much better than LA layered armor 3. Um, and then when I kept changing permutations of the mass augmentation or drum reloaders or auto loader or siege targeting 4 or HVR, uh, the gains and losses weren't too big. I still favor HVR for biggest building damage and base damage and projectile speed, which will also help the countermeasures um, combined with nuclear accelerator too. Okay, so you could create a build with three of those specials, like you can see some combinations there. NA1 with man with ST4 or NA2, ST4, NDR, um, you know, but they all work pretty well and you can't go wrong with either of them. Um, but as, as I'm going to talk about next, you see having only two of those specials is probably where you're going to end up because we had a big surprise. The main source of damage on those targets was the big single fire field left behind by the single missile turret, as you can see in the picture. If you stop there in that field for a few seconds, even the Buccaneers having 50% technical field resistance, which discounts whatever damage that's doing by 50% before the resistances and deflection and everything kicks in, um, even then, uh, they were taking a lot of damage, like 10-20% damage to the fleet if you sit on that field for a few seconds, okay? Um, there's only one special in the game that can mitigate area of effect damage over time, and that's the shielded tactical system 3. Uh, agility system won't do it. Um, no other special will do it. That's the one, okay? The only problem is it takes around two days to add that special to the ship, so, you know, bad news parts. But the good news is there's something you can do. And I'm, I'm talking about like the damage before I added that was about three hours to the fleet. After it went down to under 30 minutes. So it's huge. Okay. Also having the speed from nuclear accelerator versus cannon system allowed me to drive out of that field faster. And then if you can add three times D2R, as I mentioned before, so all these actions combined, more speed, driving out of that field as soon as you can, having that special and having more radioactive armor, all of that combined helped a lot against that fire field. Okay, so that, that was not something I was expecting to see the need for STS-3. So my final build, uh, I'm going to have three ships, as you see on the left, seven cannons, one ballistic charged armor, one sprint, if you don't have the sprint, but you have the tridents, one trident. Three D2Rs, and I, they, they build quickly, so, you know, if Kixai releases uh, radioactive charged armor, I would certainly replace one or two, or maybe all three of them with radioactive charged armor. HVR, Siege Battery 4, STS-3, the tactical uh, system. Nuclear Accelerator 2, if you don't have 2, you can use Nuclear Accelerator 1. Um, three ships like that. Probably when I get the flagship, I, I we got to see how, uh, how the flagship looks like. I'm just going to put all cannons. No need for another sprint as far as I could see. Even three may be overkill. I mean, if you can put one, it, it, it already helps. Two is ideal, I'd say. Three is just me being over, overly careful there at the expense of some DPS. Then on the right, that ship has a countermeasure special, which means the overall damage that ship's going to do is lower than the others. So there's a price you pay. But I put two flanks for, and with the extra range, they will outrange the sprints, making sure they will fire with their higher accuracy at the missiles first. And if it's rockets, the flanks won't do anything. They'll just remain dormant. 
and the sprint to kick in trying to shoot down the rockets. So I'm not sure I'll have all four ships finished for the raid. To be honest, if I don't coin, I won't. Uh, I don't think I'll have the D2R armors at all. I may not even have HVR or STS on my ships. Right now I'm just striving to have all cannons, uh, the one charged armor and four specials, right? That's probably where I'm going to be for raid. We'll see. So I hope that's helpful. Um, a few things after thoughts. If you're an older player and you have any of these two ships, they give a 50% radioactive defense to all ships in the fleet, no matter what ships they are. So if you want to, I don't know, run a macro or keep these ships in the corner, they will increase the lifespan of your buccaneers. They can actually be extra useful if you're doing hydras because then they also provide a 50% radioactive reload. Okay, I wouldn't advise anybody building them right now, but if you have them, you know, in the storage or in your dock, it, it's a good option. Final considerations. I mean, there's still some confusion. Uh, we'll probably have to wait a week until we see the bonuses provided by the Buccaneer flagship, which may affect the build. We don't know if Kixai will release radioactive charged armor that will affect the build too. Um, we don't know how much the targets will change from what we saw in the preview to the actual raid. Again, I mean, maybe they'll rebalance the damage. Maybe those fire fields won't be so bad. We really don't know, right? And we haven't seen the elite target for the Buccaneer. So everything I'm doing here is based on the 81, 83, and 85 targets, okay? So, yeah, after the next raid, you probably will see a third video from me about a final pass on the Buccaneer build, but that's the best I can do right now. Stay frosty, everyone. I'm going to leave you back here with the builds. Take a good look. Uh, any feedbacks appreciated. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and turn on notifications so you see when I post them. Take care, everyone. And I hope you can have a happy rating. Uh, I'll do my best. Not sure how prepared I'll be. Take care, everyone.